hey guys welcome to a new video how are you doing thank you so much for clicking it guys i just started recording and i've been recording for nine minutes and i realized i wasn't recording right so <laughs> anyway we'll see how it goes when we edit snow i am harvesting some garlic so i'll show you what i've harvested so far guess what the neighbor is just mowing the lawn imagine i hope this mic works today look at my neighbor is mowing the lawn next door anyway so back to what we've harvested today so we've harvested this much garlic not too bad but it could be better anyway we've got a few more in the bed there to harvest so we'll go ahead and harvest it all all right i'm just uh, uh, taking a lot a lot of this garlic look at that can you see these bulbs are so tiny and i i left them for as long as i could leave them thankfully i don't have rust at home so rust was not really the big issue here but i had a bit of rot However, it just didn't grow big. It's just so tiny. I don't even know what variety of garlic this is. I don't know what variety of garlic I planted, but they are shamefully tiny. That's all I can see. Yeah. We've harvested about half of it. It's not, a, it's not a huge amount. Look what it looks like. Let's keep harvesting. We'll go around to the other bed. These are the tiniest, tiniest bulbs I have ever harvested. I've never harvested garlic this tiny. Look. The worst, I think, ever garlic harvest. But anyway, it's homegrown. And for me, I stand to lose nothing by growing them because I love growing my food. It's organic. I know what's been added into it. And I can use it to make my special garlic honey. Anyway, let's keep harvesting. This garlic is so I can't even explain why they're so little so tiny this is July I can only think they're probably not acclimated to this climate they're not for this climate so anyway if you have any explanation and they were massive bulbs when I actually got them and that was why I planted them but nothing like they're so tiny it's just yeah it's not this is what I what I ordered versus what I got that's what it is really I lost a lot of those garlic guys, I lost a lot of it and I planted about 50 bulbs. I don't think I have up to 20, let's see at the end anyway. But yeah, the, the yield is it's underwhelming, <laughs> putting it the nice, in the nicest way possible. Actually we've got elephant garlic, so let's have the elephant garlic, that might make me a little bit excited. Okay, so let's show you what the elephant garlic's like. <sighs> so this is, this is elephant garlic, I only had two and when you buy them here most times you buy just about two and they're quite expensive elephant garlic so I thought if I bought two cloves and planted I'll get a few bulbs a couple bulbs and then there's the little bulb bits but I'll share I'll show you that and then I can always plant you know replant it so that was my strategy let's see what this elephant garlic will be like okay hopefully it will it to be honest it didn't look too big it hasn't looked too big the only benefit I have seen planting these at home is not having to deal with rust at all like this is july and i still have my garlic in ground without rust so that is one benefit oh i think i got a big one. Oh, let's show you <laughs> i think i got a big one that one looks a bit big this one is is, is decent but it, it's just like a normal standard bulb this one here looks a little bit bigger whoa yes and it's got a few of those bulbets that you should keep so okay i think we've been compensated a little bit Okay, dokie guys, so this one is a big one. It's, it's not like humongous, but it's bigger than your standard elephant garlic. But then I think the compensation I have are these little, is it bulbets they call them? What do they call them? Someone leave a comment for me. I have about five on one. I don't even think I have any on the other one. This other one. Oh, there is one. So you can actually pick these. So I have six. I can plant them again and it will take two years. But in two years, I'll have elephant garlic from these so that is like such a plus so I would keep these very well I have to learn actually if you have any ideas how to preserve it so it doesn't go off um yeah until the planting season I want to make sure I don't damage we're going to process our garlic so this is how I clean my garlic I always trim the roots so that it stores well and this is the bigger 
elephant garlic bulbs so i'm hopeful i'm hopeful that we can plant so this is when i i don't know if the previous clip caught it i was talking about saving seeds because something like elephant garlic it's just a bit expensive to buy so i'd rather just save my seeds if i can and I encourage you to save your seeds look my tomatoes i haven't bought tomato seeds in years i think i tried one year to get like a money maker one but i wasn't i wasn't impressed no actually three years ago i tried to get some heirloom varieties all those chocolate cherokee i wasn't impressed and i bought tomato fruits and they've given me the best best so this is perfectly clean any little dry outer leaf and then i'll let this dry and i should hope i have bulbs in here i have cloves not bulbs this one oh i got more corms oh nice look i have more so i have eight corms these are the little corms so that should give me at least eight more plants in a couple of years it's a game of patience the elephant garlic it doesn't happen overnight you you have to be patient but that one doesn't look like it's split it doesn't look like it's split at all but this one clearly split so i don't know yet let it dry then we'll decide we'll find out okay um but all in all i would definitely have elephant garlic to plant next year or this this year for next season so we got two elephant garlic now this is what i'm talking about my garlic has been <laughs> abysmal to say the least uh show you these are the these are the tiniest ones and these are the biggest ones this is the biggest these are the biggest ones i got they're really really not good like i don't know what happened the ones at the allotment were way bigger but the problem i had there was rust so rust was just bad here whereas here at home look no rust at all the outer leaves have dried nicely and if i wanted to store them i'm storing well but i wanted green garlic guys i love green garlic and i used it to make a special seasoning but i don't have much so what i will do i still i think i could get some green garlic i will trim these leaves because i'm not planning to to hang them so that i can get green garlic ultimately the greens in your garlic are so flavorful they make a nice seasoning salt and i have a friend uh, that really really wants the seasoning salt i make with my green garlic so i'm gonna have to make sure i'm gonna make sure i keep that for her i'm sure she's watching this now she has told me like make sure and listen it's it's easy when we plan these things but organic gardening doesn't permit it so yeah these are the biggest ones this is a bulbul as well but this is like a this is a garlic normal garlic one not uh not elephant garlic so i don't think i'll bother saving that one so yeah because it's um i don't know what variety of garlic this is but there were massive french french garlic they were i bought this that's the naughty thing though see it's meant to be hard neck the hard neck is just coming out and it didn't work anyway but look we'll get green garlic so nothing much is lost green garlic and i'll still have my little where's that little bulb i'll save that bulb as well so yeah and i planted them way early so it wasn't like they were late planting they were planted really really early so i don't know i, I really don't know the explanation for this 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 garlic thing this looks so nice though but that's not a lot of it this good is it anyway so for these ones i'm gonna yeah see i said we had black fly i think i thought i eradicated and yeah they're gone this is actually rust so we have a little bit of rust but not nothing much nothing not as bad as the allotment the one at the allotment over a month ago they were gone they were just completely completely gone but this one this one has tolerated yeah so what i do with these i'm just going to chop them and freeze them i'm not going to dry them i don't mind wet garlic it's it's fine we we can eat that i have dehydrated some i could dehydrate more if i wanted to but i don't think i want to dehydrate i use it for the garlic honey i have a garlic honey infusion i make for the winter although we have a good amount left um i'll use it for it anyway let me go ahead stop waffling <laughs> and just harvest and prep this and i'll show you at the end a win is a win they say isn't it so this is what we have harvested so far we have about 27 bulbs and they're not as you can see they're not that great but that's garlic that i'm gonna use and i grew it myself so you can ask the question is it worth it for me i'm happy with it i have my two beautiful elephant garlic and i have the is it six eight corms is it two four six eight of those little bobules um so yeah what i will do now is i would store i'll take as much green garlic so i'll take all the green bits out of this give it a wash pack them in freezer bags and yeah <laughs> is this enough garlic to last us a few months yes but not as much as i thought i actually planted about 50 in that bed believe you me but this is what we've harvested and i have to count my blessings yeah count my blessings not many people have the space to grow so 
yeah i would not complain anyway thank you for watching have you enjoyed this video has it added any value to you yes growing elephant garlic elephant garlic it's it's the first time i'm growing them they're like a cross they're like a leek they're not as strong as normal garlic so i, I want to try and see what they taste like i've never had them before ever so that's why i'm growing them and they're quite big so you get more so rather than getting these tiny bulbs the, the smaller ones you can get are these which is like the size of a decent garlic bulb which is you know it's a decent harvest isn't it and yeah anyway i'll leave you now carry on sorting out my garlic harvest 2024 garlic has been a but all in all we have other things we have to be thankful for and i am so grateful i can grow food that's like for me it's the most the biggest gratitude i can't grow garlic well at my allotment because we have rust and we have white rot so the roots rot the leaves rust you don't get a decent harvest and you also have the leaf miner so so many things <laughs> fighting against garlic growing really but growing it at home this is the worst this is like the worst i've ever experienced and i don't know why i have no explanation i bought even seed garlic they were not they didn't do really well i had to buy the ones that were for food and grow which i've always done previously anyway um yeah until next time bye thank you for watching